When things are great, it doesn't mean that you're going to be happy or that you made the right choice. And when things are bad, it doesn't mean you have to be unhappy or that you made the wrong choice. Your circumstances in life are temporary. Your choice and ability to be happy, believe it or not, is always there and permanent for you. Welcome, everybody, to The Chris Harder Show, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success, knowing that when good people like you make good money, they can then do great things. My name is Chris Harder, and several times per week, I will bring you epic guests, solo episodes, and every single tool, trick, and skill set you need to grow your business, grow your money mindset, and to grow your wealth to levels that you have never reached before. I've ended up in a unique place in life where I've got the experience, the connections, and all of the secrets that it takes to be successful. And I'm lifting the curtain to reveal it all to you in an effort to help put you in a position of abundance so great that you can then be as generous as possible. So let's lock arms and let's get started. Hey, everybody, welcome back to The Chris Harder Show, where we absolutely believe that both prosperity and generosity can and must coexist. So I want to tell you a story in today's episode. It's a story that has a punchline that was told to us that I just thought was Such a simple but profound message that you need to hear. And when I finally share the punchline with you, it's not going to be new to you. It's not going to be earth shattering, but at a minimum, it's going to be a great reminder about happiness. You see, when we come up here to the lake house in Wisconsin every summer for a couple months, We go to our favorite winery and we go, you know, multiple times, maybe three, four, five times typically over the course of the couple of months. And the winery, it's this beautiful winery up in Door County where they, they literally ship in grapes one day from Napa and then they make the wine a day or two later from the grapes that they ship in. So they're not grown up there, but you get really, really good Napa quality wines because of the way that they do it. And the owner of this place, he's owned it for about 27, 28 years, has turned it into one of the all-time hot spots up here, hence why we like going there so much. But the biggest reason why we like going there so much is to visit with him. You see, he's this 80-year-old guy named Russell, and Russell is a legend. Russell's seen the world. He has done everything you could possibly do in the world from a family perspective to an entrepreneurial perspective to literally living in different parts of the world. As a matter of fact, right now, this incredibly vibrant 80-year-old man splits his time summers up here in Door County, Wisconsin, and the rest of the year in Florence, Italy. And so he's full of stories. He's got one of those personalities that somebody who owns a vineyard should have, right? The life of the party goes around holding a glass of wine, talking to every single customer that, that comes into the place and just making the rounds all day. And to further paint the picture, he, he even looks stylish and looks Italian. And you know, picture an 80-year-old guy, white hair, but still dresses really cool and he's still fit and he's still in shape. And he just loves going around schmoozing with everybody. I mean, he was born to own a winery especially one where everybody comes on site all the time to to hang out and and drink some good wine. Now, because we've been coming up here and because we've gone to the winery so much, we've really become friends with this guy named Russell. And like I said earlier, part of the allure of going there is to see Russell and get more stories out of him, see how he's doing each summer. Well, yesterday, which was the second to the last day of, of summer up here, We went and we sat and Russell said, hey, come over here, sit at my table. Russell has his own table here, of course, at the vineyard, at the winery. He says, come on over here, sit at my table. And we just started talking. We started having a great conversation. It was me and Lori and my brother and brother's girlfriend, Jackie. And we sat there for hours, not wanting to get up and leave, asking him questions about life and about business and most of all, about happiness. And no matter how we sliced the question, you know, Lori would ask it one way, trying to get some kind of juicy nugget out of him about life. And Jackie would ask another way, trying to get juicy nuggets about life. And I'd ask questions a different way, trying to squeeze some kind of secret out of life. He kept coming back to one thing. And it was that one line, that one thing that I wanted to share with you. Now, to give you more context before I share that with you, Russell's been divorced and married again. 
yet he has such a fondness for the way he speaks of his past relationship. He has two now adult daughters. One of them, sadly, passed away way too early as an adult. I can't imagine outliving one of my children. He's got grandkids that he loves, but they're also adult grandkids in their, their late 20s. So, I mean, he's literally been there, done it all, seen it all, good and bad, right? He's experienced extreme loss and extreme happiness. He's experienced extreme business challenges. You know, his place burnt down one year. The winery burnt down one year. That would be the end of most people's business, but he built it back better. And so he's just, he's lived the range of life that I like to talk about, having that range. So again, we asked him all the secrets to life over the course of many bottles, five bottles of wine and several hours. And it all came back to this one line that he kept bringing it back to. And it was this. When we'd ask him about happiness or if we should do this, if we should do that, he would always say, one has to make one happy. That was his biggest mic drop of the day. One has to make one happy. Getting divorced, getting in a new relationship, hey, one has to make one happy. What do you do when you lose a, a child? Hey, one has to make one happy. What do you do when your business burns to the ground and, and you have to start it all over again from scratch? One has to make one happy. In other words, you, whether you're facing something good or facing something bad, neither one is going to dictate if you are happy. It is up to you to choose and then make yourself happy. So this speaks to you right now. Are you thriving in your business? Good, but that's not what's making you happy. You have to choose to make yourself happy. Are you struggling in your business? Do you feel like it's never going to happen? You just keep bumping up against walls. Maybe it's not meant for you. Just because your chips are down doesn't mean you can't be happy. One has to make one happy. Are you in a relationship you love that is like totally fulfills you? You have your absolute soulmate like I do with Lori. That doesn't make us happy. Lori doesn't make me happy. One has to make one happy. I choose to make myself happy while I'm in this incredible relationship. And then that, because I'm happy, makes the relationship that much better. But then I've been in bad relationships. And when I'm in a bad relationship, does that mean I have to be unhappy? No. So if you're in a bad relationship, does that mean you have to be unhappy? No. One has to make one happy no matter what circumstances they are currently facing. He would say, when things are great, it doesn't mean that you're going to be happy or that you made the right choice. And when things are bad, it doesn't mean you have to be unhappy or that you made the wrong choice. Your circumstances in life are temporary. Your choice and ability to be happy, believe it or not, is always there and permanent for you. These two things are exclusive of each other. Yes, when you have bad circumstances, it's harder to choose to be happy and to do the things that will make you happy. And yeah, when things are just crushing it for you and, and you're having a day where everything's going your way, of course, it's easier to be happy. But neither one of them dictates the outcome of you being happy or not. I know so many people with great relationships and great businesses, but they are unhappy. And that's on them. I know so many people who are struggling financially. They have very, very little. And they're single but they're happy because it's on them. So I wanted to share this with you. Like I said, it wouldn't be profound. It wouldn't be the first time you heard it. It wouldn't be some radical insight into life. Although it actually is. Because if you live a rich life where you're on the roller coaster and sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down, throughout that entire journey, one has to make one happy. And if you do that, you end up with a life just like Russell, where people crave to sit down with you and hear the stories and be around you because you have an electric energy and a smile on your face and a business that's thriving. And people want to learn from those who seem to have turned out happy. That's my wish for you. Thanks for listening. Always love and appreciate you. And don't forget, Couple spots left. Go to chrisharder.me forward slash roundtable if you want me to help you plan your 2024 life and business with 14 other talented entrepreneurs. Seriously, go grab one of those last couple spots. Go to chrisharder.me forward slash roundtable. chrisharder.me forward slash roundtable. Hit checkout. If it works, that means there's a spot. If it doesn't, you missed out. Thanks for listening. Love and appreciate you. 
Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.